Yeah, yeah, I know this video's late going up. It, it'll be up at least, well, it's still early Monday, so it'll be up this evening. But I've been busy, guys. Uh, today I want to show you what I've been doing downstairs. We made a lot of progress. Now, before I take you down there, I've got to explain why it got so bad. Now, we had a lot of stuff down there. A lot of the stuff didn't belong to Ange and I. Uh, a lot of it belonged to my father-in-law. It was basically all junk. But we could never really get rid of it because we didn't know one day he would need it or not. Or he would want it. And then, you know, when you buy things over the years, like a microwave or whatever, in some cases you don't really throw away the boxes for some weird reason. That's another lot of it. Plus, a lot of it's just pure garbage. Well, not bad garbage, just, you know, you'll see. But we made a lot of headway. And here in a minute, I'm going to show you what all we've done. Then I'm going to show you what my future plans are why I want the basement done. You guys are going to see my green screen for the first time. So give me a few seconds. Well, I actually won't take a few seconds for you guys, but here in a few minutes, I'll take you down. Yeah, let's go to the basement. Now I'll show you my nightmare. Now back last year, my plans was, well, back last spring, my plans was to get down here and do it then. But as you guys know, I had a heart attack and I had to recuperate from the heart attack. So I've been putting it off lately to get down here. Finally, a good friend of mine by the name of Ron kept kicking me in my ass until I got it done. Well, I'm about 90% done. It, don't, it won't look 90% because the garbage you're gonna see still has to be taken away. Within the next week, that's gonna be out of here. But right now, let me show you what I got. But let's start off with my green screen. All right, guys, there's my green screen setup. That's right. Uh, I got it all slammed over there for now because I got a lot of stuff. Now, let me show you a lot of this stuff right here is going to Goodwill. Okay, and now with the speakers, if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, these are speakers I'm giving away, and they already have a home. Now, all this stuff through here, look at this. It's all going out to trash every darn bit of it remember the boxes I told you about old bicycles more boxes bicycle tires old sleds now lots and lots of books let me explain the books now the books Angie's going through one at a time some of them's going to Goodwill some of them she's going to try to sell and the others she's just flat out keeping so that's what's taking time I'm not doing the books Angie's doing the books I'm doing everything else but let me show you other parts of the basement. This is my workbench. It looks crowded right now because it is winter. That's why the wheat leaf blower and the weed eater is up there. And this is what I've been warming up the basement with is this little heater. But right now it looks crowded because it's still winter time and I won't be using these until spring. Yes, it's 90% done. There's still a lot more to do. Let me show you some of the things I'm not getting rid of. This is to an old tiller that was taken apart and given to me. And I still never put it together. My buddy Charlie has one just like it. And if he lived closer, he could have this one too. There's the engine to it. Now, yeah, if Charlie lived closer, I'd just give it to him. Or whoever wants an old tiller, hey, let me know. We make arrangements and I give it to you. I don't want the damn thing. No, I don't have no need for an old tiller. But here's some more bicycles that's going out. You probably ask yourself, why you got so many bikes? Well, it's a long story. Some of the crap down here in the basement is my fault, too. Back years ago, I helped a person move, and they had a whole garage full of bikes. And for me helping them move, they gave me the bikes and a pool table. Well, I brought the bikes home, found out half of them was crap, and the pool table had a, um, the slate was cracked. So it was shot. So basically, I moved these people free. Okay, I'm going to show you what my kids call a tornado room. It's actually a big storage room. It's like the dungeon, isn't it? This is all Christmas, I mean, supplies, Halloween supplies, just things, basically, that we keep for storage. And as you can tell, now, these right here should hit the trash heap, too. Remember old magazines Angie just don't want to get rid of, and <laughs> we got lots of mason jars, as you can tell. I'm getting out of focus, I see. But pretty much, oh yeah, down here, there's another heater. 
Uh, that's another heater just like the one in there. Christmas stuff and whatnot. The basement's only maybe, well, maybe 85% done. I still got to do the floors, which is no biggie. And we got to get all this trash located up or round up, which I'm hoping to start on that tonight. I'm hoping to start taking some of this crap out of here. So, next time I show you guys an improvement, most of this stuff, if not all of it, will be gone. That's going to be a lot of work, but it needs to be done. Now, these are, I had these in my previous videos. It used to be a bar that sat here. Oh, yeah. A TV right there is going bye-bye. That right there, the chair, it's seen better days. It looks like crap. But it's a uh, massage chair. Uh, I don't want to throw it down because that could come into handy. Here's my plans, guys. Here's what I want to do. Basically, all over through there is going to be a workout area. That's right. I'm bringing my treadmill mill down. And as you can see, we have a stair stepper over there. It needs a little work, but it's still, it needs a little work done to it, but it will work. And over in this area is going to be my green screen area. Plus, we may have a way to get a um, elliptical real cheap. <laughs> and we may, we may end up getting that. Now, them three items will be down here. Plus, we have something else I don't know if we should throw away, but we're going to. So, I don't think it's safe. There's a black thing right here actually turns you upside down you hang like a bat and it's good for your back and all this stuff well it's not exactly safe anymore as last time it was used it was starting to break so that's one of the things i'm pitching and yeah this is uh oh yeah we also have two microwaves there's one there and there's still one back there yeah them two are going out as well uh pretty much um here's my chairs my chairs from the deck are down here and so I use this area for storage through the winter, but it's all going to be cleaned up. Every bit of it's going to be taken out. Oh, the only thing will be kept is things that we need. We definitely need. But yeah, this is my plans. I know you can't tell it now, but just pretend all this stuff is gone. That's going to be the workout area. I'm going to have, a, have to have a heater down here because it's going to get cold. And this will be my green screen area. Yeah. I can't wait until I get it done, but that's what the sudden urge is. And I'm probably going to put something on the walls. I got, as you can see, plywood back there. <laughs> that was actually bought from my daughter's room before it was her room. Uh, that's what I was going to use on the ceiling. The next thing you know, she's moving in, and now I can't put the ceiling on. So that's what the plywood was bought for. I decided and when I do put a ceiling in, it's going to be drywall next time. But guys, this is it. This is it right here. This is my nightmare. If it wasn't for my friend Ron kicking me in my butt and saying, you need to get that done, <laughs> none of this would have been done. I know it don't look like much now, but believe me, we busted our butts down here. See the old deep freeze there? That was loaded damn near to the ceiling with books. Inside that deep freeze uh, has uh, stuff as well. That's a storage. I turned that into a storage area. Plus, while all this was going on, I had to work on the hot water heater. Yeah. So, in time, I will have all this done. Well, let's go back upstairs. I'll give you my closing thoughts. And, uh, yeah. Now, between me working down below and doing other things that have my attention, I ain't been able to get my videos out on time. I'm hoping I start doing better on that. And, plus, I ain't been able to answer much comments. But all that's going to change. Guys, my daughter is going to be answering comments. Now, she'll be answering the comments under my name, One Bubba Mike One. She's going to take over for me because she pretty much can answer anything you guys have to ask. Elizabeth knows me inside and out, and she knows the videos inside and out. So I made a deal with her. <laughs> it's not really much of a deal. Let me explain what I did. Every so often I do get a YouTube check. It's only chump change. And usually when I get it, I give it to my kids anyway. So I told Elizabeth, I was like, look, you act, you play my secretary, start answering comments, and you know, I read the comments, and she's gonna answer whatever I asked her, tell her to put on there. I so you started answering the comments. You have every dime I get on YouTube, every cent, which she pretty much got it before. So, she's, oh, that's a nice Jeep. I don't know if you guys, did you guys see that Jeep go by? That's nice. So she's going to be answering the comments, guys. 
Now I probably start every bit of um tomorrow. Yeah. So, just so you guys know, uh, if the comments are whacked, it ain't me. Well, it is me because she'll come to me and say, Dad, what do you want to say to this? Dad, what do you want to say to that? And she's better at answering comments than I am. So, guys, thank you for watching. And uh, as soon as I get done here, I got to head down the road. Tomorrow morning, I got business to take care of. It's busy, busy, busy. So, until next time, come on. Let's get out of here. If you like today's video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Why not? You do know sometimes we have okay videos. Sometimes. Until next time, guys. Um, 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 um. Oh, what the hell? Let's get out of here.